guys we're going to try a papaya today i'm going to be making a papaya banana smoothie so there are many different positive things that a papaya brings to the table it helps uh, break down those tough um, proteins from the muscle meat so if you have a hard time with your digestive system when you're eating meat then eat some papaya it helps with the digestion system all right, and it also helps with vitamin C and vitamin A, and it gives you potassium. It also helps reduce cancer risk. So let's cut this open and see what we have here. Okay, it looks kind of like a cantaloupe, doesn't it? Except for the black seeds. Now, did you know that these seeds, as well as the leaves and roots, can also help treat ulcers in both humans and animals so we're going to dig all of these seeds out we're going to take them out and i am not quite ready to try eating the seeds yet but they are really soft and i imagine since they do, do help with um, ulcers you can probably just eat them naturally um, but if you have already tried the seeds, then feel free to comment below and let me know how it's working out for you. Now, back to the papaya. The papaya also helps remove excess iron, iron and it boosts your heart health. So it will get rid of or it prevents heart disease. So definitely take that in consideration. And it also helps with your cholesterol. I like it because it helps with inflammation. Now, I have my bananas and they have to be ripe because you don't want to add any extra sugar. You see all those spots on it? That means it's nice and ripe and it means it is very, very sweet. So no sugar needed. Okay, look for a nice uh, ripe banana. And then you're going to put your papaya in, scoop it up, put the banana, add a little milk. You can add ice as well if you like it really cold. I don't really like mine too cold, so sometimes I use ice and sometimes I don't. Blend it all together. And there you have it, a nice papaya banana smoothie. Of course, you can add whatever other flavors you want. Enjoy! Bon appétit! Bye-bye!